Well, people in our area will soon be able to pay their respects to those who lost their lives in Vietnam. It's called the Wall That Heals. This massive exhibit is coming to Robertsdale. And Fox 10 News reporter Stephen Moody is live this morning with more on what it is. Stephen. Yeah, hey guys, good morning. And the Wall That Heals is a three-quarter scale replica of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial in Washington, D.C. I'm going to step out of the way now. You can just see the large scale of this wall, and soon people here in Robertsdale will be able to experience it for themselves. Assembly is underway on the Wall That Heals exhibit at the fairgrounds in Robertsdale. The replica is 375 feet in length, and at its tallest point, it stands seven and a half feet high, all to pay respects to heroes who fought in Vietnam. It's an opportunity for people to come down and visit and experience the wall. Being that this is a three-quarter scale replica, it has that same impending feel of the wall in Washington, D.C. You feel buried in one amongst the names. It's open 24 hours a day to allow for people to come no matter when, whether they feel like they don't want to be around crowds or if they want to just come see it at night. And the wall will be interactive as well. Visitors will have the opportunity to do name rubbings of individual service members' names on the wall, and it gives them an opportunity to educate. This week we'll have a number of school children and groups that are coming out and we offer a tour of this to educate people to get them to better understand this war and how this memorial really changed the way we deal with veterans and the military today. There will be an opening ceremony on Thursday and then from Friday to Saturday the exhibit will be available for visitation 24 hours a day before the closing ceremony Sunday afternoon. It's a one of a time opportunity here in Robertsdale to bring this in and to, to get that sense of closure to get that healing and really to get that reflection that is, happens when you bring a replica this large into town. Now, just a heads up, parking will be free and visitors can view the exhibit at their own pace. Now, just another note, pets are not allowed, but service animals are. Reporting live this morning here in Robertsdale, Stephen Moody, Boxton News.